Hi friends, welcome to Aerotech Solutions. This is Shesha Anand. Now, uh, I want to discuss about keypad interfacing with microcontroller. In previous session, we discussed about LCD and we are proceeding with all interfacing possibilities with the 8051 microcontroller. As on basic, if you are already done with the switch or button working with microcontrollers, so maybe your two terminal switch or button contains so these two leads T1 and T2. The basic hardware connection required whenever you are interfacing with switches or buttons. So one lead of switch or button connected with I/O, and other lead is connected with ground or VCC. Most of the cases, if you go with 805 interfaces, they will approach this ground connection with other terminal. Terminal 2 is connected with I.O. and terminal 1 is given to ground. It may be switch or button. So, as many applications if you approach like for only is a few operations like only 2 or 3 or 4 possibilities or 3 or 4 inputs if you are expecting they will do individual switches or individual button interfaces. But your system needs more keys or more buttons, then you need to deal with matrix keypads. The advantage with these matrix keypads is so basically each switch or each button required one IO pin from the microcontrollers. So, but if you are proceeding with these matrix keypads. The major advantage with these matrix keypads is you can cover more buttons by using less number of IOs. That is the main motto to deal with these matrix keypads. Otherwise, you can proceed with your regular buttons interfaces. And even every keypad which is constructed with push buttons, most of the cases. So if you if you observe any any keypad, if you remove the label on top of the keypad, you will find push buttons from the keypads. So, as on basic, your buttons contains two terminals. One lead requires I/O connection, and other lead requires the power source, either ground or VCC. But in the in the case of matrix keypads, the construction is very clear. But the most popular keypads, which are 4 by 3 keypad, which is as your regular mobile phones on keypad mobile phones, which is available, and 4 by 4 keypads, which are very popular for ATM machines and safety lockers or any kind of security systems. So, if you observe any portable security systems in real time applications, you may find this matrix keypads. The matrix keypad's internal construction is very clear. Each key is one push button. I am approaching 4 by 3 keypad. So which means 4 rows with 3 columns. So initially all are individual buttons. So I need to take 4 rows with three columns so that you will find 12 individual push buttons from 4 by 3 keypad. If you are dealing with 4 by 4, you may get 16 keys and from 4 by 4 matrix keypad. But the internal construction is very clear. So you are already aware each button contains two terminals, terminal 1 and terminal 2. Like this, from each line so you will find this T1 and T2 for each button. But coming to the internal construction for all these matrix keypads, so whereas if you are considering row, so whenever you are dealing with the row, so the row construction should be like this. From each button, all terminal ones, which are connected to one common point, which is treated as a row. And the second row is again from the second line all terminal ones which are commonly connected 
to this line which is treated as a row 2 and coming to the third one so again this is as same as your above line all terminal ones which are commonly connected this is treated as row 3 and what about row 4 from fourth line all terminal ones which are commonly connected to row then what about columns so whenever they are saying 4 by 3 keypad which means 4 rows and 3 columns so coming to the column connections all terminal lines vertically all terminal 2's which are connected to one common point which is treated as a column 1 the second line the second column is terminal 2 from the second line which is treated as column and the last column is the terminal 2's from each line this is treated as column this is how the internal construction for your 4 by 3 keypad or 4 by 4 keypad if you are taking any size see for your 4 by 3 keypad how many IOs you need to use from microcontrollers for 4 rows you need to connect 4 IOs and 3 columns you need to connect with 3 IOs so with 7 IOs I am able to manage 12 keys or 12 buttons from the keypad if you are working with 4 by 4 you need to use 8 IOs but it provides 16 keys or 16 buttons to you but any system doesn't expect or any system doesn't operate it all the keys inputs at a time so if you are taking any n number of keys or n number of buttons for your product or system you need to give only one input at a time so based on that they constructed this matrix keypads like this it may be 4 by 3 or 4 by 4 so you can develop applications like simple calculators or safety lockers or simple swipe missions or simple billing missions these are all constructed with this matrix keypads with a combination of LCDs so which is LCD is already discussed in previous session so now you need to understand how this keypad can be connected with microcontroller and how to work and how to write program for this keypad so this is the physical connections which are established from matrix keypads but here your matrix keypad doesn't require any VCC or ground so you need to connect your columns with IOs and rows with IOs so 4 by 3 keypad uses 7 IO pins if you are taking next, next size keypads which are 4 by 4 or 6 by 6 so depends on the rows and columns you need to provide that number of IOs if it is 6 by 6 you need to provide 12 IOs but it may, it may cover 36 buttons so if it is just one count which is increased for rows and columns the quantity of buttons which are managed with keypads is more now you are looking to program these keypads and how to interface these keypads with microcontroller very simple you need to connect all the rows and columns with specific IO port from the microcontrollers it may be 8051 or it may be if you are working with any family but the construction is same for any keypad any size so now I am proceeding with interfacing with keypad uh, I'm just taking the simple example which is 4 by 3 keypad and the outlook of 4 by 3 keypad should be like this uh, simply you will find key numbers so this which is decided as per the label of keypad so it may start with 0 1 2 3 or 4 5 6 7 8 9 and star 0 hash. this is your regular phone keypad so you will find the lines for this matrix keypad just like this this is a row 1, row 2, row 3, row 4 and C1, C1 so these rows and columns you need to attach with your microcontroller port anyway you have to take one IO line, IO port, complete port so I am just taking P1.0 to connect my keypad 
P1.1 and P1.2 and row 4 is connected across P1.3. Coming to the columns, P1.4 and column 2 is connected across P1.5 and column 3 is connected across P1.6. This is how it is very easy to interface your keypads with microcontroller. Then how to program this keypad? So whenever you are approaching to program your keypads, you need to follow any one of these two methods which is row scan or column scan methods. What is meant by row scan and column scan from keypads? So the row scan method allows by making row 0 you can write conditions for columns. Means as the default state of all IOs which are once as as per the basic information about 8051 IO, IO, IO pins but this will change according to the controller again you need to know for this the default logic state of your IOs is 1 from 8051 microcontroller now what I am trying to make it row 1 logic is 0 so whenever I am assigning logic 0 across row so what happens if I am operating this specific key from this line row 1 scan so whenever the user is operating this specific key from this first row then the column logics are going to change because they are holding logic 1 default whenever particularly you are assigning logic 0 for your row if any key is operated from the row 1 the column logics are going to change so that I will write my condition in program if c1 equals equals to 0 then from this specific row you operated the key value is 1 so this is what I am trying to display with LCD screen so the display is your optional you can proceed with 7 segments or you can proceed with uh, serial output or you can proceed with your LCD screen that's your optional but as per this key value you are trying to assign for your display unit so the condition is very clear if c1 equals equals to 0 I need to display the respective key value on screen but so the problem with this key sir the user is operating much time with this case that is your key bounce so this is another topic which is involved in this keypad there is a key bounce so key bounce means the multiple display on your screens suppose if the person is operating this key with more time you may get repeated print on your key value on screen or else if you are still if you are just operating this key and you are releasing your key may not be displayed on screen because of no proper operation on the key so to resolve all these problems you need to manage your program with maybe delays means if you give sufficient delay for this condition the compilation enter into this condition and it will display your key value even though you are taking much time to release the button so the delay will manage your key without repeating your key value on screen or else you can follow the another method you can wait for release the key so this is another method you may follow delays or else you can wait for release the key until unless you are not releasing this your execution the same condition so it doesn't go for another button operation or another switch operation this is how you can manage your keypad programming with row 1 so suppose if the second condition is true suppose if column 2 equals equals to 0 I'm just expecting the respective key value on screen just two. So for this second key, the user is not operating this first key from the keypad and he is trying to operate second key. Then your column to becoming zero. So this, whenever it is becoming zero, the respective value is two on my screen. So again, you have to manage either delay or condition. So don't apply two things. 
so you can approach either delay concept or else uh, wait for release so that it will avoid your key bounce from the key partition and if the third condition is true then I am expecting the key value is 3 on my screen because this is the kind of keypad I am taking here for first row the respective keys are 1, 2, 3 so when I am expecting these 3 key values on screen as per my conditions if C1 equals to 0 the expected key value is 1 and C2 equals to 0 the expected value is 2 C3 equals to 0 expected value is 3 now your row 1 scanning is over we are looking to check your second row key values then remember you should you should make r1 logic is 1 compulsory so without doing this row 1 logic 1 if you are directly simply you are doing row 2 logic 0 so there is a clash with this row scanning even though you are operating key 1 the column logic becoming 0 or else the second row first key also makes your column 1 logic 0 so that's how that is the problem with this row scanning at a time you cannot proceed for all rows so you need to do one by one compulsory if first row scanning is over then if you are moving to second row make sure row 1 logic is 1 and row 2 logic is 0 then again you have to write the same conditions because the columns are same for your second row also but in this case if c1 equals to 0 what is the key equivalent value I am expecting on screen? 4 and column 2 logic 0? 5 and column 3 logic 0? 6 after completion of second row scanning then you have to come for third row so again if you are moving to third row scanning make sure row 2 logic is 1 and row 3 logic is 0 then you need to write your same conditions so this is how you can scan your keypads by using this embedded C program so you need to understand the internal internal construction of your keypads how they constructed as rows and columns and you need to interface your different size keypads it may be 4 by 3 or 4 by 4 or 6 by 6 as per your application whatever you are taking you need to go for this and you have to write your conditions in the programs just by doing each row scanning so first if, if you are looking for specific row make sure that particular row logic is 0 and all other rows or logics are ones. at a time you have to keep only one row logic 0 and write conditions for columns so this is how you can manage your keypad programming so I will give the link on keypad and LCD combination uh, in this video so for more videos please subscribe our channel erotic solutions from youtube and you can you can learn the next level microcontrollers including pic arduino and lpc2148 stm32 also please subscribe our channel thanks for watching